Hey, Explorers, the 1980s were an amazing decade filled with great movies, clothing, you name it, the 80s were amazing. So on tonight's show, we are going to talk about what made the 80s so good. Coming up next on DNG Explorers. I'm Derek. I'm Gregory. Come join us on our adventures on DNG Explorers. Jai, jai. a quick wardrobe change we are back so happy yes i'm part of the wrestling team watch out <laughs> <laughs> happy wednesday everyone we always go live uh, well for the most part sometimes we miss our weeks but um 8 p.m eastern five o'clock pacific so if you guys are new to us please hit that subscribe button and the like thumbs up give us a thumbs up but um a girl, we'll, a girl. we have Greg and I were deciding what are we going to do this week on our show, and I took a shower, and I started listening well, to <laughs> the '80s music that I listened to when I grew up in the '80s, and I thought, you know what, this was a fun decade. Music, it was the best decade <laughs> in my opinion, and um, like from the movies, uh, we're going to talk about the games, fads, inventions, the drinks. Uh, there was just so much about the 80s that we're still celebrating it that for the cruisers that are on there. Yep. What night do they usually have? The 80s, 80s night, night yes. which we did. And we'll talk yeah. about that. And uh, <clears throat> So 
uh, so much fun stuff. Um, and we're going to have a very, very good time. Um, but yeah, I'm, I was a product of the eighties or I should say, I don't know if I was a product. of. The I 80s. was more of a product yeah. of the eighties. <laughs> you were. Come on now. I lived in the eighties. Yes, you did. And so did I. <laughs> yes. But Greg, why don't we welcome our explorers in? All right, so let's get to the beginning. Angela Nemechek, welcome. Carla McClendon, welcome. Don't ask me why I'm talking like that. <laughs> Cheryl, one deck down, welcome. Waypoint Explorers, welcome. Gnarly dudes and do dudettes. <laughs> wow, totally gnarly, man. <laughs> Cowabunga. Uh, we got Danny D, the spectacular supporter. <laughs> Surfer Girl, 326. We have Mercy Rodriguez, <laughs> Mark Langenkamp, Jamie Wilhite is here. Uh, more sunshine, please. Can I get a little bit more sunshine, Can please? Can I get some more sunshine? Season's please. greetings, Jim. Uh, did I say Carla McClendon? Michael Ann Spoiled Mama. Uh, Vanna GM. Amethyst Hayes Adventures. Welcome, welcome. Life is good today. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I think we're all cut up for now. So yes. did you say hi welcome. to um I thought you did, but did you say to Cherie Surfer Girl 326? Yes, I did. So welcome. Well, welcome again. Yes, welcome in. Yeah, the 80s were an amazing decade. Um they were. When you lived it, it didn't seem like it was quite so amazing. But as the decades progressed. I well, think the 80s really stood out. You have to admit that the 80s had the best music of any century or decade, actually, I should say, um, that I can think of anyway. 80s and 90s, but there's just something about the 80s that you just you just can't get over. I mean, you had 80s rock. You had classic rock. You had the colors. You had 80s pop. You had Michael Jackson and a red jacket and a glitter glove. Come on now. <laughs> S1, welcome. Welcome. Oh, Sylvia, good to see you. Ryan Donahue, hello. Danny said thank you for the congratulations last night. Um, her brother was uh, engaged, if I do remember awesome. correctly. Awesome. Yes, congratulations. congratulations. Yes, that's exciting. Uh, Movie Mania Nick, welcome excuse in. Excuse me, welcome. <laughs> I S want my MTV, right? Yep. <clears throat> S. Swanson, hi. So in the 80s, I think I was living in New York City. Is that Madonna era? Yep. Laugh out loud. It is. Madonna came about. New Kids on the Block came about. Michael Jackson. Were they hit in it there? Big. Were they in the 90s? They were in the they were in the late 80s, but they were there. In the 90s. Cruising scene. Welcome, welcome. In. welcome. Welcome in. I was a big New Kids on the Block fan. I have to admit, when I was growing up, <laughs> so I would know. <laughs> It started in the 80s. So, you guys, we're going to go through different stuff. We And to just so we're not going all over the place. Hold on. Calm down. Yeah, I know the excitement oh, there. No, you don't. Um, we're going to try to go in category. Part of the wrestling crew. I'll take you down. <laughs> so, um, as we go through this, uh, your thoughts of what you thought of it. Because we could just jump. We could probably spend two, three well, hours on, on the well, 80s. Before we get into it, our drinks. we need to wait, have wait, wait, a... Not yet. Oh, you can't show it yet. Okay. So, part of you the thing... You didn't see that. No, you didn't, you didn't see that blue drink in there. Um, part of the things we thought would be fun is some of the drinks that were popular in the 1980s. Um, and bear with me, you guys, if some of these are a little naughty. Oh, please. Naughty. It's fine. Just but, read them all. They're good. Yes. So I'm going to read the top 10 of the, uh, of the 90s or the 80s. Sorry. Um, number 10 was Buck's Fizz. Um, you guys can look them up. I'm not going to explain all of them, but it kind of looked like a mimosa. Um, well, can number, you show the picture as you're saying it? Will there it is. Mess, will it mess it up? There's Buck, Buck Fizz. Fizz. All right. We might get messed up by doing that, though, so I shouldn't. We shouldn't Woo! do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last time we do that. Yeah, um, let me fix it. At number nine, my apologies. It's called a screaming orgasm. You guys can look at that. <laughs> number eight <laughs> is the slippery nipple. Woo. Number seven, which I've had a few of the, well, the drinks, sex on the beach. Um, I was. I'm glad always, you clarified that. I was always. I always remembered ordering this, and I was always embarrassed to to order that. Number six is a tequila sunrise. Uh, Cheryl one duck down says slow gin fizz. I remember that. Yeah, I do. Um, at number five is the Cosmopolitan. That's popular. At number four is the Blue Lagoon. That's a good movie. Yes. <laughs> 
at number three is called the woo woo. <laughs> at number two is called the pina colada. Pina colada. Oh my god, I almost thought you were gonna say something else. <laughs> and number one is a B fifty two, which is kind of like a uh, a duck fart. But a little bit different ingredients. But like it's a the, shot with the different layers. Like the B fifty two from the eighties. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so very interesting. So we decided to keep it clean, and we decided since it's about eighty two degrees outside here on the west coast, we're doing the blue Hawaiian. Yep. And this is the very first lemon that we picked and cut and used from, from our lemon tree in the backyard. Sherry from Destination oh, Fun. So Welcome in, Sherry. Cheers, Dilly Dilly. I love the 80s. That's good. Um, it's one ounce. It's sorry, yeah, it's one ounce of vodka, one ounce uh blue curacao, and then you fill blue it up. Caraca? You fill it up with lemonade. What is this called again? Blue Lagoon, because <clears throat> they're waters that you just want to dive into. They called it, they call the drink quaffable. Now, what the heck who does uses, quaffable yeah, mean? That's why, did you hear me say, you heard me say, hey, Siri, what does quaffable mean? I don't know what you were doing with Siri. <laughs> <laughs> they, um, oh, Siri's listening. Okay. Oh, look at you. Woke quaffable him up. says it's an easy to enjoy drink. So why, do you just, why don't you just say an easy to enjoy right. drink? It's so quaffable. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. I'm drinking my quaffable drink. That's something Pepe Trevella <laughs> would say. Oh my gosh. This drink is so cool. <laughs> Controversial cruising. Welcome. In. Welcome. <laughs> uh, oh, awesome that you have a lemon, that you have lemon do. trees. Yes. We also have a dead pet underneath it, but that's another story. <laughs> May Sophie rest, well, Sophie rest in peace. Well, we don't, and it's not directly under it. It was there when we got here we just found out later it is very refreshing um this noah's adventures so, welcome welcome noah this and this it is would be very refreshing actually you can make it a little bit stronger but this would be a, a nice spring summer drink uh, a refreshing i don't think i've ever had one of these you before. know looking at these headbands and this is another 80s thing it's an I, 80s movie reminds me of josh brolin in the 80s classic the goonies. goonies where he's always wearing a headband <coughs> i look like hey, i belong girl. either on the harlem globetrotters <laughs> or i look like curly wow curly neil it was curly I have neil no i thought that was his name gosh going well, back harlem globetrotters changes throughout the years yeah well yeah i didn't even know if those people are alive yep blue lagoon blue lagoon is the name of this drink God um bless them. So, Greg, let's... It's Cruising Karen. Welcome. Welcome, Cruising Karen. Um, we, um, again, this was inspired by... Rayleigh's <laughs> Creative Travel. Welcome. He was... Oh, my gosh. Really, Blaine? I just... Blaine was born in 1984. Okay. Blaine? Blaine. Um, Blaine. Don't even go there because Blaine, I, I was a little before you. I graduated in 1985. <laughs> wow. And I was born in 81. <laughs> so go figure. Kara says, I do look like Curly. <laughs> wow. Disney nerd herders. They are, Welcome. They, Is that lover boy? They are in Disney uh, Magic Kingdom. They always go live right before us. So if you guys want to look for some good Disney content, great friends of ours, go check out the Disney nerd herders. Um, yep. And they're having a good time on those rides right now. So, um, Oh wow! As I said, I, I graduated. graduated in eighty six. Yeah, so there you go. There you We're go. About the same age. One, one year. Um, so when I was getting, uh, I guess, going into high school, um, I no, was no leg warmers okay. here. Yeah. <laughs> Just showing them. You can chop wood with that, those. Nuts. I sure can. I can clear trees with those suckers. <laughs> oh, Mark graduated in eighty four. Um, so growing up, um, I was born in England. <laughs> And we moved over to the U.S. in 1977. Um, I was really into R&B. Um, I loved the OJs. I loved uh, Sister Sledge. Those were probably my two favorite groups during that time. Be careful with the chords, bud. Um, and then I went into prints. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I found is I really loved keyboards, synthesizers. Um, and then Duran Duran came out. And I went from... R&B and R&B started changing at that time as keyboards were synthesizers. They called them synthesizers back then as they became more pre prevalent in the music. 
what I liked about the British bands, which they called the second British invasion, their keyboards um, like Duran Duran, Depeche Mode, Erasure, OMD, Thompson Twins, they would sample sounds and create their own sounds with it. To me, the Americans were more boring and whatever came in, <clears throat> hold on, let me finish my thought. I know you're getting ready to go. <laughs> whatever came in when they unloaded it uh, off the keyboard and the factory sets, they played those sounds. And to me, that was boring. So I switched over to Duran Duran was huge until I saw my favorite group now, which still performs, Erasure. They opened for Duran Duran in the LA Forum in 1987. Yep. We both love and our Erasure. I We've love, been to a couple concerts. Yep. So I, I, I was on that side of the spectrum. Rachel Fithian, if I said that right, I hope so. Welcome. Wait, welcome in, Rachel. <clears throat> um, Greg is more. Uh, How was that? Well, you like you're broader with your music styles. Um, I like, you like I like the hard rock, the pop <laughs> rock, classic rock, all that yes. rock. And and John the... Bon Jovi, White <clears throat> Snake. And the glam rock was huge back then. Yeah, with the big bouffant hair. Yeah. We were going to dress in what we wore for the 80s party, but unfortunately, we don't know where it's at because we're still going. Well, this things. is what I did wear. This is on the thumbnail. Well, I knew where that was at, and I knew where these were because I've been putting clothes away and stuff. But yeah, I don't know where the wig is and all that <laughs> stuff. So we went with the workout, let's get physical. <laughs> physical especially uh, speaking of that olivia newton john with a big 80s icon of the 80s loved olivia newton john still do it god rest her soul blaine says um i remember when it went from black and white to color tv i did have i think one of my first tvs i had was a black and white adventures but... with roxanne welcome in welcome roxanne. that um, was a movie in the <coughs> 80s too roxanne i i can say that um most of everything was color by the by the time I really started watching. It was color because I remember even in England when we were on the base. Um, I remember the cartoons that were on in England and the shows. They were all they were color. So well, we I, I made that generation gap, and I would I feel fortunate growing up during that time period because the generation before me they didn't have like to me it feels like it does now. What you got your video games, you got your the different stuff and well, cell phones are we'll being go introduced. into that yeah so um i feel electronically i'm more up to date than the generation before us which didn't really get into a lot of that stuff video games have come a long way since the 80s because yes. atari was phasing <laughs> out and then bam you had nintendo coming our way and that was like a big blowout um entertainment system and unfortunately, I all my friends had entertain Nintendo Entertainment Systems. Unfortunately, I didn't get mine until I was 12. It was a hand-me-down. Um, I remember talking to my oldest brother's friends, saying that I've always wanted one. And um, <laughs> they actually, I guess, didn't want theirs. So they put their Nintendo and all their games in a brown paper bag, I remember. And I opened it, and there it was. And I was so happy. I didn't care that it was a hand-me-down. It was in good condition. It introduced me to different games. I would never have known any of those games that I was given because they were actually part of series. Um, so I ended up getting all of them as time went on. So that, that really introduced me into the gaming um, environment. And I'm still a big gamer to this day. I love the classics and things like that. But Nintendo was a big sell in the 80s. So some of the systems that came out in the 80s, um, I had a lot of these. Um, Atari 2600, I didn't have that. Um, Game Boy, I had. Sega Master System, I didn't have that. But I we, I basically was a Sega fan after that with the um, the rest of the Sega systems that came Sega out. Sega came out in the, in the 80s? Yeah. Oh, because uh, I got a Sega too, but <laughs> not until the 90s. Um, ColecoVision, I love our ColecoVision. Um, it says NES Family Computer, the Atari 5200. I know um, our friends had the uh, 5200. NES came out. Um, and then it says in television, but we had in television in the 70s, so I don't know why that's listed on, on here. Um, if you guys have your old Ataris, like Blaine, Blaine said. Uh, they saw their brother-in-law's Atari in storage. 
you should get that sucker out and dust it off and play it because <clears throat> there's nothing like the um you know the classics so cargo welcome derek plus 80s equals i try to discover a little something to make things sweeter um <laughs> so i didn't mind waiting to get a nintendo and a <laughs> Sega. i had to wait till she was 12 no she's saying oh boo you had to oh. wait until you were 12 that's why i'm saying <laughs> i didn't mind waiting we couldn't afford that kind of stuff back then so I got it when it was my time to get mine, and I had an awesome time. Hey, nautical nurse Nancy, let's get physical, <laughs> physical. <laughs> so uh, Amethyst Hey says, uh, we got a Nintendo when I was young because my mom wanted it. They used it as a bribe to not get us a babysitter that wow. summer. If we could get along, we could get a Nintendo. <laughs> I remember Pac-Man, yep. Well, and not only that, too, though. And it, Mrs. Pac the The 80s, the um, video game Thank industry, you, the arcade machines were huge. And I remember spending many a time putting money into the coin-op machines. Yep. And, um, arcades, yep. yep. And, uh, well, like, with the uh, VHS, they were I popular. Love VHS. <laughs> yep. I, we have a bunch of VHS, I kid you not. And I actually bought a VCR and DVD combo, and... Um, it was refurbished and everything. I watched maybe two VHS tapes in that thing and it won't work. So now I got to get it fixed, but I'm a very big nostalgic person. So I love VHS. I love popping in a tape, watch, hearing all the sounds, watching the old trailer. Sometimes it's kind of sad because you're like, oh my gosh, these actors are so much older now, but I used to work at Hollywood video in the 90s <laughs> to the 2000s and and you got your boss fired wow no i didn't actually but we won't go into that <laughs> um so i was very big on vhs and i still am i love nostalgia of video stores and things like that and there is a blockbuster still in oregon to this day yes um so greg do you know i put so cargo what her comment is up there do you know what song that is you got to look on the screen here, buddy. Derek plus 80s equals I try to discover a little something to make things sweet. Yes, it's erasure. Here you go. A little respect. Yep. And then, <laughs> then we got a Super Nintendo because my mom wanted it. See, I wasn't big on Super Nintendo, to be honest. I think I <clears throat> skipped that ship and went right to Sega. Uh, Super Nintendo does have some good games, but I never had one growing up. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> movies, games, they are all there for the eighties. You have a lot of, uh, different games and movies. So what were some of your favorite games? <laughs> um, still talking about that. I don't know. Oh, gosh. Um, I'm trying to link him to the Super actual, Mario brothers. The, that, the, was, that opened up a whole new world. Well, ColecoVision, um, I'll, I'll say that because I, I I didn't get a Super NES. I wasn't a Nintendo fan until later on. Um, I think the first system I had for Nintendo was that. Hey, Mary Ellen Dillon, welcome. Was the GameCube. Um, but I was a pro Sega fan. So. Well, that's still Nintendo. And GameCube has some good stuff too. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. they didn't. That came out in the 90s. That didn't come out. Cruise um, and Koozies, welcome. Welcome. Um, ColecoVision, I remember playing Smurfs. <laughs> I remember watching the Smurfs was, in the eighties. <laughs> that was a very fun game. La, 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 um, I like, I like, <laughs> I like a lot of um, sports games. So I remember the football game. Um, even though now you look at them and like, oh my gosh, how did I manage to play it? But at the time when you bought it, you're like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Um, I like racing games. I still do to this day. My favorite games are um, the racing games. Yeah, Mar Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt were a combo pack, and you can also you could also <laughs> get them separate. But um, the Smurfs. Speaking of the Smurfs, I remember growing up with the cartoon. If you guys remember that, um, I, I mean, I am so big on nostalgia. I know tunes of old shows that some people probably don't even think of anymore. Um, things come back to me like I. I just remember like, oh my gosh, I used to watch that show. And and then I look for it because I want to get that nostalgia back and, and, and that feeling. 
Um, the snorks. I don't know if you remember the snorks. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they had like little snorkels on their head. The wuzzles. I loved the wuzzles. They were like two halves of two different animals. Um, Captain America, uh, Captain Planet, all that, all that Ghostbusters, the series. What? I'm just saying, rain it in. <laughs> what? I, we're gonna, well, we're I'm gonna go on all these different tangents. Well, so I'm we're trying to it's keep only it 526, <laughs> and and you're not telling me some of the shows you used to watch. Well, we're not ready to jump into the shows yet. Well, we're already in the shows. Um, so. we're looking at Katie Jackson. Welcome. welcome Katie. Um, I did not remember that one. I remember watching it from when they were talking about the history of video games, the Bally Video Cave. You remember that, Greg, on that one show that we were watching about how video games came around? Um, yes, there's the, a thing on, on uh, there's a thing on Netflix that um, is a documentary about, about video games. Yeah, um, I remember having Pong. Oh my first. gosh, He Man and Shira. Yes, I we have the whole He Man collection. The original 80s one. It is so cool. Sorry, go ahead. Let me wrap this up and then we'll go into the TV because there's well, we've already been in the TV. Go ahead. Because <laughs> you're jumping around. Um the first one we got was Pong. And remember how we were amazed that you could play a, on the video yes, game system. Like, boop, yeah. Boop, and then the boop. first <laughs> system shortly after that, I think 78 or 79, we had Odyssey 2. And then we had Intellivision. So maybe Intellivision did come out. I remember George Plimpton uh, did the commercials for <coughs> Intelligent uh, or Intellivision. <laughs> yes. Nancy, she's all, no way. The whole He-Man collection. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yes, it's like in this big, thick, book-looking <laughs> uh, case, plastic case. <laughs> she... Beautiful collection of all the episodes with different themed discs. Cheryl was busy doing other things in the 80s. Mike Jackson, welcome. <laughs> rotary phones, yes. I actually love rotary phones, although it took forever just to dial somebody. Because it's like, shh, so nine like took the longest because you had to go all the way around and then let it go back. <laughs> I don't remember what my favorite go-to game was um, in the at the video arcade games. Uh, people are saying different things. Your like favorite game? Galaga, Asteroids. I love um, Galaga and Pac-Man. Um, from North to Neverland, welcome. welcome. Waypoint Explorers, we had a gray skull growing up. And my brother... I think he gave it away and i'm like oh my gosh why would you do that we had the toys and everything you know how much money that would be worth now <laughs> yeah i i the actually commercials. talk about your commercials Greg. well i was gonna say i actually have a whole set of metallic ninja turtles all four of them in their original box never been opened you know how hard it is for a child not to open toys at that age but i never opened them and now I'm learning that people want them very badly and they want me to give them a price. And I just don't know if I want to get rid of them. You guys let me know. Um, I think in, in like one minute, a commercial is going to pop in. I was looking at um, how to, to set it up because last week, a bunch of during the live show, a bunch of commercials came in. I hope it doesn't come up because normally they come in the replays, not in the live one. So let us know. I think it's supposed to start now. Um, Space Invaders and Centipede. Yes. And <laughs> Q-Bert. Oh my gosh. I loved Q-Bert. I remember Dig Dug. That was so fun. Yep. Dig Dug. Um, oh, there was another one. There was Robotron. I liked, but it used to frustrate me. <laughs> and then there was um, Space Cadet. What was that? Space Cadet. Um I can't think of the name of that one. Well, um, the Greg, the commercials. I was going to um, say, yes, the commercials. Um, my mom taped a lot of Christmas stuff on VHS, and I wanted to salvage them and save my childhood in that respect. So I put them over to DVD, commercials and everything, and there are some really cool old commercials, and I know them by heart because when they come on, Derek hears me singing them, and he looks at me like, oh, okay. You ever watch... Uh, I'm like, I don't care. I'm having fun. <laughs> if you've ever seen uh, Demolition Man, um, they have, like, they're in the future, and they're singing songs, like, jingles from the yes. different songs, and I'm thinking... <clears throat> oh, here goes the commercial. Yep. 
uh, so I don't know if all you guys, I don't know Rachel's if all you guys adventures. got that. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome in, Rachel. Yeah, so we did get a commercial at 531. Very interesting. Joust, that was another good one. Yes, I like Donkey Kong. <laughs> I wasn't very good yep. at a lot of them. That was fun, too. There was one that I kept, I would go to. That was my go-to game. And I can't remember the Flintstones. I think were from seventies to the eighties. That's like Scooby Doo. I think that was seventies to eighties, all the way up to now. Actually, they still make them. Um, oh, like Nancy's mentioning about her. Oh, Daniel Fields. <laughs> Thank you for representing Daniel Fields. <clears throat> we um, they have the second. I was going to say sassy school. The. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Nancy, correct me here. Girls just want to have a fun cruise. The second one. That's a good <laughs> 80s movie too. I think it came out in the 80s. Girls just want to have fun. Well, the song was even better. Uh, but they are doing... SP, hello, welcome. They're doing a group cruise. And that is going to be next year in 2025. October 16th awesome. through the 20th. Yes. Can't wait uh, Noah said. The Tron Ar yes, arcade game was cool. I, I never agree. played the Tron game. What? Um, uh, Noah's saying that I uh, can't wait for the Super Nintendo world at Epic. That's going to be Epic. Ah, wow. <laughs> so, what movies, um, from the wait, 80s? one one thing? My mm. sorry, well, we didn't, we're <laughs> you're saying your stuff, but they don't know anything about me. <laughs> um, I loved during the 80s, as you can see from it's not all about what, you, what's behind me. <laughs> Scrooge McDuck. Yep, Scrooge. Duck Tales. Yeah. I, I loved, loved that had, too. The Disney Afternoon was rocking in the yep. 80s because they Duck had Tales, Rescue Rangers. Chip and Dale <laughs> Rescue Rangers, Darkwing Duck, well, that Tailspin, a little bit Gummy Bears. Yes. Um, Winnie the Pooh. Wasn't there another one? I think there might have been another one too. Uh, but Duck Tales, I love Duck Tales. Obviously, you can see my... Uncle Scrooge, and as you go higher, yep. and we have that series also. I do like to collect uh, old cartoon series that I grew up with. Yes, I know I'm a grown man, but I still like it, and it's something that I enjoy. And um, I'm just a big nerd in that respect. Nancy Fields, welcome! Oh, yes. wow, that's awesome. Nancy can hear the DuckTales song in her head. <laughs> that's right. You do us. Uh, that's right. We do. What? <laughs> Mario Kart. We, uh, we've we been racing. Uh, Wait, well, who said that? Waypoint. Oh, um, yes, we we've, do. We've raced with them before. And, and Mario we, Party. <laughs> yes, we definitely need to play with you guys again. And that's what's so cool. Now, you can play with people all over the country and if you have your link to his friends you can play them and that's so cool and it's the walkman oh we'll do talk about that as <laughs> part of the inventions and fads well okay go right ahead there. no go ahead no go ahead what was the next thing i think we're done with the shows now we're going to go to the movies right <clears throat> <laughs> well <clears throat> we mentioned the walkman so yes i did have a walkman and cassette tapes i do still love cassette tapes um i have a lot of cassette tapes i used to have the cases that those cassette tapes go with, but I have no idea what happened to them. I think my nieces and nephews took them out and probably threw them away to put their toys in the backpack that they were in. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, I lost all those cases. But whatever, it's fine. I'm not that heartbroken over it. There's digital copies of it. So uh, I also had a CD Walkman, which I think came out in the 80s also. Um, I'm surprised those didn't skip a lot when people would walk with them. Like they would bump on your leg when you would walk and stuff. I know Nancy loves to walk. So I could just imagine her back in the 80s walking down the street with her bebop and headset on with her cassette tape Walkman or CD Walkman too. Do you remember the popples? You know you did that, Nancy. Do you remember the popples? <laughs> I don't remember. Yes. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot about the popples. I actually still have a popple. I have a popple. When I was when I <laughs> just in, Greg has a popple. When I was little, I was given a popple, and I remember it was purple or it's purple with a blue with a green circle stomach, and you would put them inside out so that, 
or inside in so that their bodies would go in like a kangaroo, like, and it would be like a ball and you could throw them around like a ball and then they pop open and they had a cartoon about the popples. Wow. <clears throat> Again, grown man, but still know my stuff. Yeah. There was even a, <laughs> there was a dance called the Smurf. I remember that. Um, Michael Ann says, first game uh, system what? I ever bought was the original PlayStation when my eldest was seven years there old. There was a dance called the Smurf. Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany Peacock, welcome in. Oh, yes. Also about the Wonder Twins. And uh, Wonder Twins actor. Uh, SC. Am I Derek, that far I love behind? Your shirt. Did you get it at Mervyn's? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? SC. I um worked. Funny you said that. I worked for Mervyn's. But I you was, didn't get it at Mervyn's. <laughs> I no, I got it from Amazon. I worked at Mervyn's from 1989 to uh 2005. I worked there for 16 years. Open, open, open. I never no, I well, I never had a Polly Pocket or Cabbage Patch dolls. Those were more little girls' kids. But it's funny that you mentioned Cabbage Patch dolls. When Cabbage Patch dolls were introduced in the 80s, they were the big, big toy on the market. You could not get your hands on one during That's, Christmas okay. time. That was crazy. You're jumping again. No, I'm not. It's called a show. It's that's not a fad. That's a toy. That was a fad. Well, Nancy so, mentioned Cabbage Patch, so I went right into it. All right. So let's. You see, Nancy, you and I are just we're just like Anthony, you and Anthony when Anthony. you guys go back and forth. <laughs> um. Yes, the Rubik's cubes. Those are definitely '80s, and I have never sold one to this day. I think I used to take the stickers off and put them like I solved it, but yeah, I never solved one. Go okay, ahead. so here are some of the fads from since we're going on about that. Um, do, 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 number 10. Oh, wait, went the wrong way. Uh, I am not, I did not do a squirrel, Nancy. <laughs> some of these we've already talked about. There were some other ones that I saw, um, so these aren't as good. Um, that's stupid. Val speak seriously. What? I never did heard you of like realize in the 1980s, like everyone totally got pulled to this thing <laughs> called Valve Speak? Seriously. So that's Valve Speak. <laughs> oh, that's a Valley Girl. Yes, oh, yeah. Valley Girls <laughs> yeah. would always talk like that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, number nine is the Walkman. Um, Mark was talking about that. Um, I had a Walkman. I had the yep. I had the tape. And also I had the um, the CD version of it. Um, Same here. Uh, home video game systems. That's when they really start to explode. Um, Cabbage Patch Kids. So I remember, I still remember when there were like riots going on. Um, because from 1983, uh, they, they peaked in sales in 1985. And they would, it was like a weird cult thing. They had it like was... birthing rights. You could adopt them. You yeah. had to sign papers. And <laughs> people were getting violent because there wasn't enough around. And it was uh, because the crazy. children, their children wanted it, and the parents were out there trying to get. It reminds me of Turbo Man from um, Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. This one's looking for a Turbo Man. They all start laughing because you couldn't get your hands on one. Do you do you remember Pound Puppies? I think that was a big fad as well. And you work for a pet store, so you should know about Pound Puppies. Yes. So Cheryl just got a commercial. That was, I'm not sure what time that was. First commercial. So hopefully that was it. If anything, you guys, I try to set things up where there's only one popping in if it did come in. I have still to this day never seen oh my Pretty, gosh. Pretty in Pink or The <laughs> Breakfast Club. I've seen snippets, but I've not seen it. Or 16 Candles. I haven't seen that either. I have to tell you who Helen is. This is Helen in Charleston. <laughs> yes. Huh? I'll tell you after the show who that is. SC is Helen and Charleston. Yeah. South Carolina. <laughs> yes, parents are trying to get those couches. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, I, ne I never finished my... Why can't you tell me who Helen is? I'll tell you later. Um, okay. So number six was Rubik's Cube. Um, hey, Scrappy. Uh, number five was Swatch Watches. I was never... Bye, Scrappy. I was never a fan of swatches. Um, I never really thought they were. They to me they looked cheap. Weren't swatches just? They were made cheap. Okay. 
You can we're, <laughs> couldn't you like switch out the band or something? Yeah, we're, yeah. I don't know why that's called um, watches. Hair metal bands like the Motley Crue and and stuff like that. A big fad. Bandanas uh, were a fad back then too. And number three were preppies. I thought I try to be. I would say a Durani. That was what I would have called myself. Uh, back Durani. Then. Yeah. <laughs> From, those of you who lived in the eighties, you know what a Durani was. Was um, it? Was it the black leather gloves with the finger parts cut off, where mm -hmm. your hands could be out? That was a fad, also. Yeah, I think Madonna did that, but even Duran Duran did that too. Um, MTV, MTV was a fad. I still remember my cousins. We would go there daily to watch videos. I don't remember the very first one being played, but I know we were watching it in the 1980s, um, and we loved M MTV then is different than what yeah, MTV is now. when they would play music back then now they don't <laughs> play music anymore it's not whatever it stood for music television network or whatever they don't do music videos anymore <laughs> and then they said number one fad was john he's movie so he did 16 candles mm -hmm. breakfast club weird, weird science, science pretty in pink ferris bueller's day off yep, that's and, one of my favorites and he did um the he wrote National Brett Lampoon's Matt. Vacation, European Vacation, Christmas Vacation, <laughs> and when did Home Homie 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 Alone? Homie, nineteen ninety. Homie yes. Alone. <laughs> yes, Homie Alone came out in nineteen ninety. <laughs> Home Alone. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good fads what, out there. What is that? Mervins. Oh, Mer Mervins. 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 Yes. Back to the Future oh was a gosh. big one from the eighties. Short Circuit, Johnny Five was from the 80s. Um, that's how they said his name, Johnny Five. If you don't know who Johnny Five is, he's a cute robot. I think you're right, Ryan. I think they just switch it to the disc man. I had a cabbage pie boy's name was Charlie. Did anyone have the huge brick phones that were like <clears throat> that thick and that tall, and you had to like put them against your your head with a long antenna or even the bag phones if you remember those and the lip phones from like full house they had lip phones and you would pick up the lip phone you'd have one half of a lip <laughs> you were talking do you remember those yes <laughs> and lava I, lamps lava lamps were a big fad in the 80s well i remember was like psychedelic man um i remember the transition going from rotary phones to the punch phones and i remember mm -hmm. um they didn't have well, they had the phones on the cords and i remember being so happy that we had like a 60 foot phone cord <laughs> where you could go into like another room and have some privacy yeah. uh, well there was no call waiting so you'd be on the phone and somebody <laughs> yeah. would pick up the phone get off the phone i'm on the phone right now <laughs> you'd girl. have to take the phone off the hook and leave it off the hook so that people couldn't call it you know, at all hours of the night. That's right. They also had the trading cards for them. Um, they were huge. Then they started Coleco owned. I was doing my research. Not that I know all this stuff. Coleco owned these, um, the cabbage patch. And then they went bankrupt in 1989, I think. So that couldn't save them. Unfortunately, that's probably why they never came out with another <laughs> game system. <clears throat> so, I don't know if you guys know. Oh, Teddy Ruxpin? Did I was, that came out? I was going to say just now, I don't know if you guys know who Teddy Ruxpin is. I still have my the original Teddy Ruxpin. The original Teddy Ruxpin, because they tried to re-release it, and it just doesn't look the same. But I have like four or five outfits for it. I have the books and the cassettes. Again, grown man, but I still kept stuff from my childhood. Um, and I would love to get it fixed because I think my brother, when we were growing up, pretty sure when he got mad, he took my Teddy Ruxpin and threw it against the wall. And now the mouth won't open and close. It won't move. So I need to find a place that would be able to fix, it. Re fix the motor. <laughs> the only thing is I've seen YouTube videos about it and they literally have to cut the, the hair off, op like pull the stuff off the head Take the whole thing apart just to get to the motor so it doesn't really look the same after. So I might just keep it the way it is. Do you remember Pet Rocks, Greg? Pet Rocks? Yeah. They used to have Pet Rocks. I remember that too. That was the fad. Um that that was familiar. that was wasn't it uh 
what was the name of those ch ch uh, the that was the Chichia pet, the Chia pet. <laughs> no, but there was another thing too. They had pet rocks. Yes, the original Teddy Ruxpin. Yes, I still have it. Yeah, the the it's one in the garage. <laughs> the one thing is now when you watch movies um, from the eighties, they hey Ben from PTV, welcome, welcome in, guys. Um, the eighties movies definitely feel dated. They write them. They are, they're made a lot differently than and filmed well, differently than okay, they do. Go ahead and say today. what you're gonna say, probably. What we watched the original Ghostbusters, which I love, before we went and saw the new one, um, which we loved also. But Derek thinks that the technology back then is very cheesy. But that is that is the charm of 80s movies and the special effects back then, they were practical effects. They were claymation. They were stop motion animation. It was lighting and stuff. The original Ghostbusters, in my opinion, is a masterpiece for the 80s. You can't, Ghostbusters is a staple for the 80s. Do you remember that? I don't remember that. Tamaguchi. Yes, I do. Yes, I think it was like a keychain and you like hit buttons and you would feed it. And if you didn't feed it, eventually it would die. <laughs> um, I don't know if you could start over or if it just stopped working altogether. I'm like five minutes behind. Yes, that was the first song ever played on MTV, Video Kill, Kill the Radio yes. Star. And VH1. I, VH1 wasn't as popular as um, MTV, but the one thing I liked about VH1, they started doing more like documentaries on people. The California Raisins Christmas special, yes. I do remember that. And the dirt, the dust buster. Is it dust buster or the dirt devil? It was like a little dust buster thing that you would just, <coughs> it was like a thing that you could hang up on the wall and it would charge. You would take it off and it's like a handheld thing and you would just vacuum your <laughs> couch. You don't remember those? No. Oh my gosh, you need to look at it. Um, welcome in, Eric. Thank you for joining Isn't us. Crying. No, it's a bird singing oh, okay. outside. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yes, yeah. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, Full House was which favorite. I don't think I've seen Raiders of the Lost Ark. Garfield yet. phone. Johnny Five is alive. Gremlins was a big thing. I loved the Gremlins, and they are supposed to do a third one. That was a masterpiece of Steven Spielberg for sure. Mary said um, she had a bag phone. E.T., that's one of our favorites. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Did that come out in the 70s or the 80s? Close Encounters was the it late was, 70s. Oh, I don't I know. I think it was after Jaws, because Jaws came out in the 70s. But yeah, E.T. was definitely an 80s movie. And I was little, and I cried. I bawled my eyes out. And you know you guys did too, so don't even go there. <laughs> It is a very emotional movie, even to this day. It is emotional. <laughs> uh, all these uh, good memories. I think a lot of our um, the people watching are probably more closer to my generation than your generation. <clears throat> but Greg is an old soul. <laughs> oh, thank you. I don't think age even matters because you can learn stuff from different decades as you age no matter when you were born. Oh, Pet Rocks are from the 70s. Um, Friday the 13th, yes, that was um, came out in 1980, if I remember right, if I was when I was looking at that. If you ever see videos where um, their parents try to have kids use technology from the 80s, it's hilarious. That's, did, sorry, sorry, that, well, when you're, whenever you're ready to answer that, because I know that's what you like about I, it. I was going to say with the rotary phone, I watched a video and they were literally trying to push buttons. Because they didn't know how a rotary phone worked. They didn't know, <laughs> okay, you need to turn it. So that was hilarious. Other <laughs> practical effects of films is what made the movies back then. Or original. That's, yes. That's what Greg that is, loves. Yes. <laughs> yep. Slime. If you guys remember Slime from Slimer, they used to sell the, the gloopy slime that you can get. <laughs> um, Play-Doh. I always loved the smell of Play-Doh. I would buy a thing of Play-Doh just to smell it, even to this day. I don't care. I, um, I love the smell of it. My mom stopped buying me Play-Doh. Because you ate it. Because I used to eat it. Well, that explains so much. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That explains a lot. I'm just playing. <laughs> I do remember that magazine, of Karen. I do remember that. Wait, what magazine? It was called Right On. Oh, I don't remember that. 
They had, magazines were good back then. I remember then. the Highlights the, magazine. Ma magazines weren't just commercials with about 10 pages of content like they are nowadays. The Highlight magazine, I remember that. I think that was the 80s. The Where's Waldo, teen, that was 80s. Teen Beat, Tiger Beat. Yep, all those teen heartthrob oh, well, magazines. I, re I remember I... Um, yep, Silly Putty, yep. I would order... Um, the bills sucked in the uh, late, well, mid seventies. They sucked, and then they went into another slump, um, like from eighty three through ninety when they went back to the Super Bowl, but or to the Super Bowl. Um, I remember I would have to order a newspaper, and I was never sure to get that newspaper by the time the game played for that week. Now you get all the information on the phone, so it's just amazing how. Things have changed, and the people growing up nowadays don't really get get um, like what we had to deal with. It's like walking fifty thousand miles to uh, to uh, through blizzards to get to school. Wow, <laughs> I didn't walk through blizzards, head head football, but I <laughs> did walk some miles when I was in high school. Mark, were you talking about? Oh, yes. they had they had no. That was in the seventies. Never mind. Posters was a big thing. Yes. Um, Lots of different 2000. posters. I'm having problems keeping up with the comments on here, guys. So I'm sorry if I'm not getting everything on here. Well, you did forget one thing here. So I don't know what you meant by that. <laughs> yes. So we've got about eight minutes left on our um, inventions. Inventions. So what kind of things came out during this era? Was laser discs in the eighties too, or was that before? I know that was before VHS, but I don't know if laser disc was the eighties or not. And <laughs> those things are like made out of glass type things, so if you break them, it's over. Reel to reel, I think that was late seventies, early eighties, and um, oh my gosh, a track. My mom still has the a track player with the a tracks. I don't know how those things work. I never understood because it would go one, two, three, four, but it's like this big bulky thing you have to push in and then you have to rip it out when it's done. I'm like, how do you not break these things? Oh, wow. Cheryl was um, won a contest to be a model and she got up to be a model awesome. in the American Health Magazine. So here are some of the inventions um, from in the 80s. So the dinosaur computers. <laughs> number 10, disposable cameras. Which, oh wow! Yeah, um, I remember those. We have to go re 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 uh -huh. wind it. <laughs> um, pro, uh, nicotine patch. They came. <laughs> yes. Prozac was introduced. Huh. Uh, disposable contact lenses. The space shuttle, but I thought the space shuttle maybe that was a first flight was in the eighties, but um, they were definitely designing it in the seventies. Um, IBM and Macintosh personal computers. Mm -hmm. With the um, green screen, yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, compact discs. Um, Transformers, I remember. HDTV. HDTV came out in the I 80s? I didn't know that. You had dial-up internet, too, in the 80s. Um, DNA fingerprinting. Hmm. That's interesting. You would have thought that would have been around a lot longer. And the number one thing was the permanent artificial heart was wow. invented in there yeah i'm surprised nobody mentioned the one show that is the longest running show in american television history to this day they came out in the 80s they're a yellow family and they're called the simpsons love the simpsons um they have changed throughout the years but that is the longest running show ever 30 something years and they were supposed to cancel it in like 25 years and it's still running to this day. Yep. Um, and they're still the same age. <laughs> I had Daniel. I had like probably almost every handheld game that came out that they had for football and, and basketball um, for the little handheld Mattel games. I do remember that. I still see that image in my head when she's, is that the one she's in a swimsuit and she's got her head like up in the air. Um, yeah, but was that in the 70s, late 70s? Mattel, that was a big um, company for for toys. I don't even know if they're around. 
Does anyone remember Oregon Trail from the 80s <coughs> and number munchers? That's how they taught us numbers and stuff in school <laughs> with the green screen. Uh, Dallas and Dynasty, <laughs> yes, the 80s. And I believe Beverly Hills 90210 might have been the late 80s, early 90s. What? I could use some pros. <laughs> wow. Ay, ay, ay. Dial up in the internet was in the 90s, yeah. It's just fun to go through, you know, this decade. And also, if you ever get a chance to go on a cruise and it's 80s night, you should go all out. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't take a lot of money. It's as much it's as it's as expensive as you want it to be. I mean, if you want to be a rocker like I did, I got an inexpensive rocker wig. Um, I kind of went a little all out. I got <laughs> some leather boots and a vest. Um and leather pants and you know the wrist things and all that so i went a little all out but you don't have to do that you could do headbands workout clothes it's a fun night uh 80s night um i just wish it were longer of a party because it only seems to be like two hours um and you go through all that trouble, but it's fun. And you can use them for all other cruises. So at least you have something for the 80s. And you can do variations of it when you go on different cruises. <coughs> you don't have to do the same thing. I remember being a Rocky Horror Picture Show cast in a Rocky Horror Picture Show cast in the 80s on the I'm weekend. I'm going to get you to watch that movie. I have it's not a seen good it. Movie, I have I'm not get him to see it. And he hasn't seen Beetlejuice. And they're coming out with a sequel. You are going to watch these oh, movies. Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Blaine's um, cousin was in Charlie's Angels. Richard Simmons was a big 80s icon, and he is such a sweet person. He really tried to help people with weight loss. Um, I really like Richard Simmons. He is such a nice guy. When I was on the dream last year, I was on the worst 80s party ever. The middle school kids just kept screaming the entire time. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> what was that one guy um, that was like a computer guy with the slick back That's hair? With Ma the, with Max a big, Headroom. Yeah, with a big mouth. <laughs> yeah, Max Headroom. They, um, it was from a commercial. Uh, like a, Wasn't it a soda commercial? And then he got his own show, <laughs> if I remember right. It was, was it a Coke commercial or a Pepsi commercial? I'm and then they sure. then they created their own show with it. Um, so, um, we only got two minutes left. Yep. So many fun memories of the uh, the nineteen eighties. Go watch and, some of those old movies, classics, and shows when you get a chance. It'll bring back so much nostalgia. <coughs> and if you have VHS tapes and a VCR, Coke. pop those suckers in and watch them. It's I know it's old, uh, you know, quality and crackles and lines at times, but that is what makes it nostalgic and i don't mind that i i would watch those actually so yeah um but thank you everyone for joining us tonight uh yes. the ship show i know they're doing the they have like a bro meetup going on i don't know if they're still in the bahamas or or what if they were on a cruise um i've been jumping in and out um during my busy week um seeing what's going on with them but they might have a show on the yeah. disney side this and that will yes. um, always do shows right after us have a totally tubular <laughs> awesome evening <laughs> <laughs> but um thank you guys um thank you we will be back next week for another show and then i believe for the next two weeks after that we will not have a live show but we're working on vlogs. oh yeah yep we're working on our vlogs, the NCL Escape, the one that we took to Alaska you, last everybody. year. And we are going um, to uh, be releasing that. So I think we're going to hold off to at least have one of those weeks covered. And maybe if we had two, we'll show it on the second part of that. But um, thank you, everyone. <laughs> have a great night. I'm Derek. And I'm Gregory. If you forget our names, it's okay, because I'm Little Explorer. And I'm Big Explorer. I said it right this week. Yep, you did. And as Walt Disney once said, we are just getting, getting started. started. Have a good night. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Go jump in the Blue Lagoon. Woohoo! Drink it up. <laughs> <laughs>